What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk to you guys about something that's been going around in the streaming community and a lot of small streamers and people who are just starting out have reached out to me multiple times asking my opinion on this topic and which way they should go, right? And that discussion is surrounding Meld Studio versus OBS Studio versus the Streamlabs option. There's a ton of different options right now and in this video I'm going to tell you guys, you know, from my experience, I've been doing this for a long time, what I think is the best software for you to use if you are a beginning streamer or maybe someone who really just kind of got into this, you haven't gotten that far yet, and you want to make sure you're using the right software, you know, to grow yourself, grow your brand, grow your stream and all that stuff. So we're going to be diving into that, you know, straight from the brain here, from my brain and my experience, I've used all these softwares. Uh, that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. But real quick, if you guys are just starting out as small streamers, you know how important it is to stand out amongst the sea of millions of streamers out there. You got to make your stream look nice, crispy, have some nice graphics on there and, you know, make it pop so that you stand out against all of these streamers. It's a very saturated industry. So if you want some help standing out, you guys got to check out the sponsor for today's video, Owned.TV. Owned.TV is your one-stop shop for fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're looking to pick up some new alert graphics, don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, emotes, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you could change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you're looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. And don't forget, use code HAMMER at checkout for an additional 50% off your order. Now, back to the video. Okay, so we're back. So, this is what I really want to dive into today. The, my two favorite broadcasting softwares when it comes to streaming right now in 2025, we're in July, we're in the end of July 2025. We have Meld Studio and OBS Studio are my top two picks for everybody right now both pieces of software both programs have some pros and cons when it comes to streaming right in my opinion if you are a more advanced a more intermediate you know streamer or someone who's just you know kind of into tech into audio and video and and you you know your stuff and you know how to tweak settings and do all this stuff i think obs is going to be your better option uh, simply because currently it's more advanced, right? It has a lot more features, a lot more stuff you can do with it. However, on the other side, Meld Studio is really good, especially for people who are just starting out. I mean, I used Meld Studio for a few of my streams last month to test it out. And I was like, you know, for me, there's a couple of little things that, that it hinders me from doing that are a little bit more advanced techniques in my stream and in my audio and, and video setup. But... It is constantly being updated, it's brand new, it's completely free, and the main selling point, and what I, why I think that all beginning streamers, all people who are just starting out streaming now, the reason why they should probably gravitate more towards Meld is the fact that you can literally multi-stream directly from the software without a plugin, without anything. And it, it's, it's really fantastic. You could just set up multiple outputs super simple by like logging into the outputs putting your stream key whatever it is and with the click of one button no installing of plugins or add-ons or anything you can go live on multiple platforms which you guys know is the most important thing right now in 2025 you want to be going live on as many platforms as possible i made multiple videos talking about why i think platform loyalty is currently dead right unless you get a contract from a platform unless you're already established and a, and a platform reaches out to you and you're like hey you know if you come exclusive on here we're going to pay you x amount of money per year x amount of money per month th then obviously it's not bad to consider that option but when you're just starting out and maybe you're just a twitch partner or you're just you know a kick partner or you're just a youtube partner there's really no incentive to stay loyal to one platform. So you want to be streaming on as many of these platforms as possible. And that's where Meld comes in. It's a little bit easier to get started with that. Now, with OBS, there are tons of, of plugins now, uh, a bunch of free ones that are great. I use the Atom plugin for multi-streaming. Uh, it's amazing. I have no issues with it at all. 
but meld is definitely just a little bit easier to set up, right? It's a little bit easier to apply filters and like effects, special effects to your camera, things like that. It's a little bit more hidden in OBS. You can do everything in OBS. You just need to spend a little bit more time learning, right? So we're going to put this into a couple of different categories. If you're someone who wants to get into this and you just want to download a piece of software and hit go live and ha have it look work, you know, look and work and function perfectly, meld is going to be the option for you. Now, if you're someone who's a little bit more advanced and you want to do a little bit more, you know, a little bit more techie stuff, a little bit more advanced techniques with your stream, I got to say OBS studio is going to be the option for you. And there's, you know, obviously uh, just a ton of videos on the internet that you can watch and learn about how to use OBS and, and just, you know, ways to, to set it up the way that you want, but it's going to be a little bit more of a time investment, right? I've spent the better part of the last eight years learning the ins and out of OBS and, and, and learning how to use it properly. And I myself would use meld, right? Like if I was going on vacation and setting up a quick stream, you know, in another house somewhere to stream a few nights while on vacation or something like that. I would use Meld uh, just simply because it's easier. I could just open it up, set up my webcam, whatever, all this stuff, easy, 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 go live, no problem. Um, but OBS is my bread and butter. I, I may be a little biased, I don't know, but I, I really don't want to discredit Meld Studio. I think Meld Studio is actually fantastic and it's constantly receiving updates. It's constantly being improved. Um, so, you know, for my beginners and even some intermediate streamers out there, I would suggest using maybe Meld. If you want to get a little bit more advanced and a little bit more technical, I would suggest learning the ins and outs of OBS Studio. The, the program is fantastic and, and really the possibilities are endless. There's a millions of different plugins for OBS. You can really set up some crazy, crazy advanced streams. Um, you know, if you learn the, the software the right way and you know, I, this, this video came to me. I just wanted to talk to you guys because so many people lately have been commenting on my OBS videos on all this stuff. Like, Hey, you know, how should, do you suggest that I start using meld or this? I haven't done any videos on meld yet. I do have a bunch of tutorials planned to do for meld for people that want to set that up. Um, but with OBS, I mean, I have literally like years and years worth of content to, to help you guys set it up and and get your streams looking, you know, and feeling the way that you want, right? So I don't know. I, I, I personally, my opinion is that Meld is better for beginners. OBS is definitely better for advanced users in the state that they're in currently. However, like I said, Meld is constantly being updated. It's constantly, you know, improving every single week, which is great to see. I think it's a great piece of software. Um, and really, I would love to actually talk to the devs behind Meld um and and pick their brain on where they're going with the software you know how they feel like they're going to make it a little bit more unique what are the benefits going to be in their vision of using meld over obs studio in the future um you know if i ever got that opportunity i definitely would take it and uh yeah i i, th I think it's a great piece of software and that you know a lot of you would benefit from using that over obs but i don't want to discredit obs either because obs has been really good to me uh, you know, once you learn it, you can really achieve and accomplish anything that you need with it. So that's really all I got today. I just wanted to talk to you guys about this and answer some of these comments in a video style. Um, so hopefully I helped you out. And if I did like the video, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. And if you guys want to hang out with me live, come visit me over on kick.com slash hammer dance. We're streaming over there. We do multi-stream, but I'm really trying to grow the kick by the end of the year. I want to be partnered on there. So any support that you guys could give me would be absolutely amazing. Even if you just hang out every night when I go live and you just throw it up on a screen and you lurk and you go cook dinner or whatever would be super, super helpful uh, to get that support from you guys. But either way, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one.